Hey, James G here. Today in Persona Studio 1.6, I'm going to show something that I think is really important to do from an organizational standpoint when you start recording, and that's setting up your folders. Um, so generally what I do is I set up folders by basic instrument type, and I go uh, for a color coordination that I call Rigby. So it's basically red, indigo, green, blue, yellow. Okay, and so let me show you what I'm talking about. And you may or may not use this, but I think the most important thing is to realize you need to figure out a folder setup that just organizes everything for you, especially when you start getting to 12, 14, 18, 30 tracks, you're going to want everything to be in folders. So you go up to your little plus sign here, and then this is when you're adding a track. So this gives us our options of an audio, instrument, automation, or a folder. So I'm going to hit folder, and I'm going to name this first folder drums and I'm going to hit it with red uh, for the... So that sets up my folder. Um, now the last thing I'm going to want to do is this little drop-down channel here. I'm going to add a bus channel for that. So now what that does is it sets up my main bus channel down here in my mixer. So all the tracks that I put under drums will also be under this bus, and you can hit the little folder, and you can collapse all those. So let me add the next one is bass. Really, I'm kind of using purple, but uh, indigo makes a nice word for Rigby just for me to remember. So I hit OK on there, and that should be purple at like that. And then I'm going to add a bus channel for that, and I'm going to continue on. Now I'm doing green for guitars. And sometimes it will place this underneath the folder you're in. So you can just pull and move that there and then go back and change your color. It happens quite often for me. Um, and then I'm going to do blue is what I do for any kind of keyboards. Pull that down. And then yellow for vocals. And so a lot of times, you know, if I get something that's kind of out of this range or if it's percussion or something like that, then I'll just go in and create a folder uh, for that also and just use a different color um, from these. Now I'm going to go back to guitars and add a bus channel and keys to add a, a bus channel and vocals add a bus channel. So now you have, every time you add tracks, you can add to one of these folders or one of these categories and it keeps everything nice and clean. So you can close that folder you can clo close all your folders of all your tracks, and then you just have these five buses. Um, there is something called top-down mixing that we'll do a video on, but basically that top-down mixing is when you've got everything in your folder, you got all the tracks in a separate folder, so all you're really doing is doing a simple top-down mix of these five major categories, not in every individual difference. It's great for rough mixes or quick mixes or anything like that. So I think this is just a... a, a a really good tool to have these folders and it's very simple to add them um, and it color coordinates here. Now once this is defaulted I've had some people tell me that th these down here will still remain gray. They won't transfer these colors. You can actually go to your settings right here this little wrench signal there and then you can do that's not where it is. Yeah it is. It's colorized channel strips uh, right here. You can actually take that on and off. Now you'll see that it still color coordinates a little bit, but um, I, I want to see it really pop. So I hit colorized channel strips there, and this links up my folders um, for everything I have here. So now if I go in drums, and I'm going to add an audio track for bass drum, and I'll input whatever, it's going to put it right under that folder, and I close that folder and then it'll make those go away. So it's just a really great way to organize, uh, if you're, especially if you're going to do a whole lot of tracks. But what I have is a template that always looks like this. So when I pull it up, this is my new uh, blank canvas, and I already have it all set up, because in here you can save your own templates just by going up to and save as a template on the top part. I missed it because I can't read today. So save as template there and call it whatever you want. So you can just pull it up as a template and where that will show up is in your user uh, from the start screen when you're pulling up new files.